Hey, in this video, we'll walk you through our brand new Serum 2 preset pack, Layers. We'll quickly go over what it is, how to use it, and how you can get the most out of these presets. Just a quick side note before we get started. This video is more about how to use Layers rather than how it sounds. For that, we created a demo video where we produced 11 short demo tracks using some of the presets from Layers. If you haven't already, make sure to check that one out. We'll link it at the end of this video. With that out of the way, let's get into it. First up, if you don't already know what Layers is, it's a brand new preset pack we put out for Serum 2. As the name suggests, this pack is all about layering. Layering leads to be more precise. With Layers, you'll get 80 high quality presets in total. 70 of those are insanely good lead presets, and the other 10 are useful lead enhancers. We'll get into those later. The goal for this pack was simple. Create a bunch of high quality lead presets that are designed in a way that allows for quick and easy layering to create extremely powerful lead synths for drops. Before we dive into the presets, let's quickly talk about installing layers since installing presets is a little different in Serum 2. It's much easier now. Once you get your hands on layers, you'll receive a file called stickslayers.serumpack. All you want to do from here is open Serum, click the menu button right here, and select Import Preset Pack from the drop down menu. Now just find that .serumpack file and click Open. Serum handles the rest from here. Just wait a short moment, and there you go. As you can see, the pack is now installed. If this is the first third party preset pack you installed, you will now find a folder in your library called Packs. Inside, Serum now sets up folders for each vendor. So if you install another pack from a different sound design company, Serum will create a folder for them here too. Our folder is called Sticks, where you'll find the layers presets and any future packs you might install from us. So yeah, installing the presets is that easy. Let's switch to the Serum's updated preset browser view quickly. We weren't a big fan of it in Serum 1, but in Serum 2, it's way better for browsing your presets. That said, as you can see, Layers actually comes with a few subfolders, five in total. You get a folder called Basic Leads, this Famous Leads one, the big Main Leads folder, and two more labelled Noise Enhancers and Transient Enhancers. Let's start with the first one, Basic Leads. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, the idea behind Layers was to create a collection of lead presets that you can easily layer together. When we actually started working on the presets themselves, we quickly noticed that Serum 2 is powerful. How much you can do with just one preset is crazy. However, when it comes to layering, you don't always want to layer a bunch of big sounds together. Sometimes you need a simpler layer that does one thing specifically. That's why we created these basic leads. These are still super high quality and sound extremely good, but they're a little less busy and have a specific purpose. Let's give them a quick listen. By the way, as you probably just noticed, we added a cool, catchy little melody into the first clip slot of each preset. So when you view a preset here, it plays a melody that showcases the range of each preset using both low and high notes. Let's jump into the next folder, which is called Famous Leads. As you can imagine, this is a folder full of lead presets inspired by some famous EDM tracks. In here, you'll find our recreations of some legendary lead sounds, a couple of classics from a few years ago, and some more recent hits. For the previews, these actually play the melody of whatever track they're inspired by. I'll play some. Let's head to the main leads folder next. In here, you'll find 40 just incredible sounding lead presets. We tried covering all sorts of different lead types, genres, and more. I'll just preview a couple so you can hear how crazy good these are. Bye. 
Isn't that insane? Now, imagine layering just three to four of these together. If you've ever struggled to create good lead synths for your tracks, this pack is honestly all you need. Before we dive into some of the presets themselves and how we went about creating them, let's go through the remaining two enhancer folders. First, noise enhancers. If you know a thing or two about layering, you are probably well aware that white noise is the easiest and cleanest way of adding a little more high end to your lead group. Sometimes it's way more effective than just adding an EQ boost. So, a pack like Layers, which is made for layering leads, we obviously had to include some clean and usable noise presets. The Transient Enhancers folder is similar. Depending on the style of music or genre you make, a layering technique you often see is adding a short white noise click to your lead to give it more punch. Some producers even use transient shapers on their lead bus for this. That said, we obviously had to create a few presets for that too. Next, we want to dive a little into how these presets were made and the techniques we used. In the intro, you may have noticed that Serum installed some samples and wavetables alongside the presets. As with most of our packs, we like to go all out and sample various hardware gear for their sounds and wavetables. And with Serum 2, these get installed to your library just like the main presets do. So if we go to our wavetable folder, go to Sticks, and then Layers, you'll find all the custom wavetables we sampled and created for layers. If you do any type of sound design or like to create your own presets too, you can freely use these. Serum 2 also has a multi-sample oscillator now. This is mainly used for multi-sample instruments like pianos, strings and such. We used this to our advantage and created some synth-based multi-sample libraries just for layers. For example, we sampled a couple of analog synths that are known for having their amazing lead sounds, like the JP8000 for example, or even the Korg M1 for that classic house piano. We also created multi-sample lead tracks. These are essentially anywhere from 3 to 5 lead sounds that we carefully processed and layered together, then turned into one multi-sample layer, effectively making this one oscillator play 3 to 5 leads at the same time. There are two more quick things we want to go over in this video. Let's start with the main envelope first. One of the best tips for layering anything, including lead synths, is to match each layer's ADSR values. It is going to massively help your lead layers sound like one cohesive lead sound rather than a few disjointed layers. So, every layer's preset has these values. 1 millisecond attack to avoid any pops and clicks, hold, delay and sustain are at their default, and the release is at 40 milliseconds. We felt like these were somewhat neutral settings that work for most leads. There are definitely some genres and types of leads that just do not work well with these values at all. In those cases, they'll have different ADSR values, but always include a macro to reset them to these settings. For example, this Lead Evil preset is fully based around a short decay and smoother attack, but if you don't want that, there's a macro called Envelope Reset that sets the ADSR's values back to R defaults. Since we're on the topic of macros, let's quickly go over those. With layers, you get the ultimate control over each preset with the 8 available macros. Since we have 8 instead of 4 macros now, we set up 3 sort of static macros. You'll find these on all presets. The first macro is always a wet and dry dial. When you layer anything together, it's often recommended to turn off any reverb and delay inside the preset. Instead, you'll just want to use one reverb and delay on your lead bus channel. That's exactly where this macro comes in. It easily turns on or off any sort of reverb and delay, so you don't have to navigate through the long FX section to find and turn off the presets. Macro 2 is another layering convenience. While some genres benefit from low and deep lead sounds, most genres don't. 
so a low cut around 100Hz is often recommended to prevent your lead synth from muddying your bass. So Macro 2 is a simple low cut at 100Hz that comes in at the end of the processing chain right before the final limiter, so it also cuts the low end from any distortion, reverb and such. The last static macro is the number 8. It's our classic fadeaway macro that simply fades the sound away using various effects. This one is super useful for transitions, build-ups, short fills, ear candy and more. Also, even though it's called fadeaway, if you start from 100% and go to 0%, you can reverse the effect and also fade it in instead of out. I don't want this video to be an hour long and go over all macros we added, but none of these should feel like filler macros. They're all carefully picked and created to give you control over the tone, shape, character and style of each preset. A few more cool ones are the pluck mode macros, which allow you to turn a lead into a pluck. Another one we often set up is a detune control macro, allowing you to turn most of the super saws into regular saws and vice versa. Or layering focus macros. If a preset has a transient layer built in, you'll find a macro to turn it on or off in case you want to handle it using a transient enhancer. Same for noises. If a preset has noise on it to increase brightness, there will almost always be a macro to control it. As you can see, a lot of work and thought went into layers to ensure that it's genuinely an incredible tool to easily set up insane lead synths, but probably more importantly, the presets themselves in this pack just sound absolutely insane. If you haven't already, you can grab layers via the link in the description. And again, if you want to know how good these presets sound in the context of a song, check out the demo video on screen now. What you can make with these is insane. Bye for now.